Hello and welcome to the beginner level guide. I'm going to show you how easy it is to level in this game. So you don't make any mistakes at the beginnings and you have a really clean and easy time to level to max level. So before we do anything else in the game, you just spawn here in Flourish. And I want you to make sure that the easiest way to get an easy EXP boost in the game is by joining a guild, which is pressing Ctrl G on the keyboard and joining a level 100 guild. Um, a 100, level 100 guild gives you a bonus experience. I'm going to show you how that looks like. So if I unhide my guild buffs, you see that the guild can get certain buffs. And the guild level 100 gets at guild level 90. 25% experience buff. You also get like tons of cool buffs on top of it. But these are the easiest 25% EXP that you get. Also, if a guild has the EXP buff, which they can apply every week if they do Esmodon's trial, um, you get another 30% EXP boost. That my guild has that currently. So after you join the guild that is max level, um, you should also consider that you have a level 1 leech or at least a different character behind you um, that you also want to level. The level difference that the other character gets levels is 19 levels. So he either has to be 19 levels under you or 19 levels above you. That could be that if you kill the first mob, if both characters are level 1, that the other character is not leveling, leveling because he is like, um, for some reason capped. So just kill one mob with the other character so you can level on. I also uh, suggest you to join a party, which you can do with Shift P. And just try to find a party that had party skills on. So you can use link attack and various party skills like double drop or higher drop chance of items. Which gives you a, an easy chance to get good items that you can sell an, at an NPC. And you have easy on fairly good money. So, after you started and um, you voted for the server, so you get 100 vote points, you should go to the vote shop and you should look for scroll of applications. And then you see here, there are three vote, uh, there are three scroll of application ES, which gives 50% EXP boost at the time for 100 vote points. So if you vote once, uh, you have a chance of getting an easy 150% EXP boost early on, which is good. Before you're gonna start um, out then grinding, there's also the pet filter feature on the server, which you can access on you. At the first time you get a few levels, you unlock a, a CS pet or a pickup pet that lets you allow to pick up various items. Don't be confused, I'm using a different uh, theme on this server, uh, so it may look like different for you. I recommend you to have in the upgrade part, have everything been collected, and also for the card ones everything collected, and for the misc one everything collected. And at around level 60 I recommend you to also pick up various items for equipments. And then don't forget to press OK on the pet fil filter, otherwise the pet will not pick up anything. So, when you did all these things, you're good to go to start and leveling. So the easiest thing that you, do, that you should do at the beginning is you level from level 1 to 30 in Flares and Sun Morning. I'm going to show you what you have to do. Um, of course you get a buff and um, you buff yourself just by clicking the pet. And then you move yourself towards the Ibats, and then you level here until you got to level 5 or you just killed one of the enemies. And you got various items that you can equip. Then you press B for the teleporter and then you just straight up hate down, uh, go down to Sun Morning. If you're in Sun Morning, just head down to these areas and go to the banks. At the banks you level here to level 15 where you choose your first job and 
after you have done that, you move on to the small mirrors, which are headed to the left. So if you're here at the small mirrors, um, just level here till you reach like level 23, 24, 25. Just kill them a couple of times and then you just head up to the small totemia, which are just up this hill. So as soon as you re the Mia, it doesn't even matter if they're like 15 levels above you, you can easily kill them. Then you just kill a bunch, or rather a few of them, so you reach level 30. At level 30 you should get into your inventory um, a Coral Island ticket. And immediately if you reach level 5 islands. Okay, as soon as you reach level uh, 30 and you're in the Coral Islands, um, I recommend you to just go down here, this this route, and kill a, bun uh, kill a bunch of Kingster till you reach like 38-ish. So after you reach level 38-ish and you have done with the small Kingsters, you just head down again a little bit more here. You also get a mount that you can like go faster after you reach level 5. You just go to the small Kraken, you level here till you're level 45. After you reach 45, you just go onto your mount that you get, or like your board, and then you just go over this hill. So here you see that there are the Atrox and they're level 57. You can easily kill, kill them. And then you level here till you are like 51 or something like that. As soon as you reached 51, you just want to head more forward here. So you go to the Okens and what you want to hit are the Captain Okens. And then you kill a bunch of uh, Captain Okens till you reach level 60. As soon as you got 60 and you did the second job change quest, uh, you hit back to the town. And then you got an Astra ticket in your inventory and then you just hit down to Astria. So as soon as you're in Astria um, and you're level 60 and you exchanged a few items so you can easily kill them at a, the exchange NPC that you will that you can see in the feature video that I'm going to do. Um, you just start killing yetis and I always recommend to be like 10 or 9 levels under the enemies from this point on. Um, at level 60 you can easily kill these yetis with no problems and then you just grind the yetis on the right side after you spawned till you level 69 or level 70. So as soon as you reach level 70 or level 69 you just head to the mutant yetis and then you kill these till you level 76 or 75. Then you kill just a bunch of them till you are that level. Then you just want to head back after you level 6, 76. You just head back where you started. And you just want to go through this water here. And then you hit down this water path, go through jump up this wall and there are the Ogus and you want to kill these till you reach level 81 or level 80 or 82 around that area so there are a bunch of Ogus here you just farm them grind them don't forget to sell the items that you drop from them as soon as you're 82 you already see here that there are the Mutant Ogus you can either just farm them here or you go up this hill here where you can farm them but what I recommend is just farming them here because here are the a bunch of them at this hill and then you just farm them down. As soon as you reach level 87, 88, 89 always remember just be three or four levels under the max level of the monsters to your level here in Astria then you're in the damage break. Damage break means you deal tons of more damage than you did before. Then you just hit, uh, go back to the bridge and now we're here where we started, where the yetis are. And then at this part you just turn left, you see a bunch of mutant yetis and 
Then you see the Forgotten Prince. They're level 97, and you want to level here till 94 or 93. So you can either level here, or you just go up this area and level here. I like to level here, this area, there are a bunch of these. After we reach level 94 or 93, you just want to head down uh, up here. And then we're going to go for the kings. And we just want to go to this area here. It's the northest part of Austria. And there are a lot of kings. So from here on, you just want to level to level 100 or level 99. I recommend level 100. Um, so you're in the better damage break of the mammoth that we're going to kill. As soon as you reach level 99 or level 100, you head back to the start of Astria, or you just teleport out and then go back into Astria. It's a little shortcut. And then we want to cross this bridge and we always want to head towards north. And there will be the mammoth. So now we reached the point of the mammoths and you see there are a lot of them. They're level 109, so I recommend level 100 so the unit damage break. You either go up this hill or you just go here and then you level here till you are level 107 or 106. It depends of what you want. And then we have various options that you can do. You can either still level here at the cannibal mammoths. There are not that many of them, but um, you can try leveling here. If you decide to level here, just make sure to level one until level 112. Or if you're 107 after this, I recommend you going to the going to Flaris. And then here is the Forsaken Tower Manager. You just want to go here into the tower and go to the level 110 area to B5. And here you can either start leveling at the 110 monsters. But what I recommend you is to go to the Asuras, to the small ones, level here till you are like 111, 112 ish. And then you just head to this direction, kill the Asuras till you're like 113 or something like that, or 14. And then you just turn left. And we have the 120 Captain Asuras. And then you just level here till you're level 120 with 99.99%. If you have a little bit of money, and which is also the better decision in my opinion in the long run, is if you go to Traceria. You just buy a Traceria ticket of the Consumo Magizel and you just go there. And then you need a board. So if you can't fly, you can't reach any of these points. And then we have a lot of islands here around of this area. And if you're 107, you came just recently from Astria, I would recommend you just going to this island. So you have the 116 monsters. You just kill a bunch of those. They have really good spawns here. You level here till you are like 111 or 112. As soon as you're done from these, you just head north here on the map. So you get to this island. On these are level 120 monsters. You just level here till you're 117. Or what you can do also just go for full 120, but it's a waste of time in my eyes. So after you reach level 117, you just want to head more north to this side. And there are the level 126 monsters. So as you can see here are the 126. What I like to level here is at this area. You just level here till you're level 120 with 99.99%. And then you go to master. If you're master, you just go basically just back to Astria and repeat the whole thing till you're here and you reach hero. As soon as you're 121 hero, you can either decide to level here a little bit, a little bit longer to like 122. 123 um, what I would recommend or you just go and go to the consumable Gisela again 
and you buy the seven days dark traceria ticket there are way high level way higher monsters it's just the same version of um the islands you saw and you just level here um until level 141 which means you just look for the right island with the right levels of the enemies these for example are 129 and then you just level here and always be like nine levels ten levels or a few other levels away from the next monsters i think these are 137 so you have to be level, level 128 and these enemies are double hitting so make sure that you have enough hp but that shouldn't be an issue as soon as you reach 130 you get the third job quest and then um you just do that real quick it's just one click and then you level here till you're level 132 or 133 then if you are at the beginning at the beginning of dark Tress area if i'm not getting kicked out of of course um you just want to head left here you see that island we just ignore it and we go straight left here then you see this big island we just ignore that one and we want to go to this small island over here i just fly over there and then continue so we reach this island and we have the dark usagi yari here there are a lot of them so if you're AoEing, if you're an AoE class, I definitely recommend you to level till 141 here because they are really close to each other, they respawn really fast and it's the fastest and easiest way to reach level 141 on this ticket in my eyes. If you're 101, you can just go to the next higher monsters which are over there um, and um, just kill them instead. If you, after you reach level 141, if you go to the teleporter, um, there is a Cascada and there's Neo Cascada. You can decide now. Neo Cascada has just a few other um, limitations, but I, I guess it's the easier thing if you have not high-end gear yet. So you, you head to Neo Cascada and what I recommend you is to choose whatever monster you like to um, the most. Um, the most players are going this direction, check the map, and they're going to the Hirvis, Um and then you just level here till you reach level 150. Um, because there are no higher monsters than the 150s here, 150 mobs are the highest that you can get. After you reach level 150 with 99.99%, .99%, you have the options to decide between four angels and um, you just choose the one that is the best for you. There are strength, stamina, dex and int angels. You can later on change them for some money in the cash shop. So make sure to use the right one. And then your angel rank level one and the angel can be rank 100 and for example i'm currently angel rank 69 so there's still a long way to go till 100 and you basically just want to level uh, at the moment at this korean state in cascada where also are mysterious monsters they give four times the experience and but they're on top way harder and you just level in cascada from level ar1 to ar100 and reaching 100 takes a long long time so um, you will be here um, a lot this is basically all I can show you and this is the easiest way and the fastest way to level from 1 to 150 and if you're completely new and you're a little bit dedicated you can easily get on day one from level 1 to 150 with your main class you want to play what I would also recommend is if you're, for example, you want to play a Slayer, what I'm here with this class, that you make yourself a Ringmaster and a Bullposter. I'll show you why. Because if you, if I'm going to a, if I go to town and you have your Ringmaster and your Bullposter at level, a minimum level 150, because then they have all buffs unlocked, you can simply 
use these classes to just click on the buff pang and they also buff your slayer they buff you with all the skills that they have so you just do that and then you have really strong really strong buffs that makes you way stronger and you also get more out of it you're faster you deal more damage and all that kind of stuff you can just read what the buffs do and that's what i would recommend if you want to go extremely fast um you just get a level one leecher behind you and if you go onto your um character stats you can choose exp stop if you have a level one character with exp stop on he doesn't get any experience so don't worry that he might level up out of accident if you have a level one leech behind you you get the most bonus experience that you can get of a leecher so that your main class gets the most experience points out of leveling what i also recommend if you go to cheers if you know what cheers are these are here they gr they grant you five percent more experience for 10 minutes and you get every cheer point every uh, 30 minutes so that's also a bonus of five percent experience right there for doing nothing than being online the server on top has also a voting feature so each time you vote um, you extend one day and if you have a seven day streak which is the highest that you can have you get 50 percent experience as a bonus and five percent item drop rate on top of it what also gives experience are couple buffs the experience plus 10 percent um, you just need to be level 21 with your couple you can do sex um, same-sex marriage and um, it takes 10 days in-game time uh, what means in -game? IRL time so 240 hours to reach couple level 31 if you start from the beginning they are also um, griffins that you can get as you can see here and they give 30% more experience if they are angelic and perfect if they're just perfect they give 25 and if they're absolutely perfect which comes after normal perfect there's angelic which you can do um, they give 30% and there are various other things like orbs and stuff that also grant you more experience and the higher your angel rank is the the better the exp bonus of these items there are also the sc scroll of enlighten which gives 10 percent experience that you can buy in the in-game shop and um there are also angel exp ms that you can buy or angel coins that you drop from level 150 on onwards mm, they cost a lot of angel coins and angel coins are really rare but they give tons of experience and are really worth at really high AR level like AR 90 plus so this is my easy tutorial how to get to AR 100 which reaching the max level and um, I hope you enjoyed it you are clear what what you should do and if you like that video please leave a like if not then it doesn't matter um, Check out the other guys that I'm creating in the future and um, I'll see you then. Bye.